Hello, this is Zé Cuchão from Twitter. Today we're going to talk about uh, creating a, a debug package on, um, on a, to install on a kit from PS5. You're going to need a couple of tools, but mainly uh, it's the publishing tools and also WSL uh, for Linux. Uh, and um, you're going to need a, a text editor such as Notepad++ or Notepad if you don't have that. You can install Notepad++. Anyway, uh, let's start. So, uh, taking into consideration that you don't have the GP5 for the for the for the dump that you want to create the package of uh, you can do as follows you can just go here and you hold shift and right click open linux shell here and you just do prospero pub command dot x x e and then uh, you you put help and this will show you the list of commands the one we want is gp5 project create and also image create when we have the gp5 ready so first first one gp5 project create we copy this and we go prospero pub command dot xc gp5 project create and we put the help before the command to know what we're going to do so this is the the options um it creates a blank gp5 file we want the volume type to be prospero app because it's a game if you if you want to be uh, additional content we use prospero ac and if we uh, this for for later versions of the publishing tools if we, we want to be a, an additional content with the license we, we use al but AL is not here because this uh, publishing tools does not support uh, AL. For the passcode, you can just specify this one. This is the default debug passcode. Creation date is not required. It will just use the, the current timestamp for the creation date and the entitlement key we just specify any entitlement key in the case of prospero additional content uh, which will be for the dlc uh, decryption or we just don't specify anything and it will be all zeros um, so let's start let's just remove the help uh, argument from here and we specify volume type um, as Prospero app and the passcode you can just use this one you can use all zeros it doesn't matter because this is a kit where you're going to install it and you you put here and then for the name of the file, we know this is PPSA 02664. So PPSA 02664.gp5. So it's created. And we just edit. And we know it's like this. Okay. So. We are now going to open it in the GP5 editor. 
double click here we have this uh, file info and we're just going to drag and drop these files all the files except the gp5 into here so just put it here add file so we have our our files here and we're going to save the file so it's saved so i'm going to close this we're going to open the gp5 with not plus notepad plus plus we can see everything is added here um for instance if you have um, um, a paid game and it uses play go uh, you need to specify the exact number of chunks so here you can see it has only one chunk with id zero and it's the chunk number zero so if you if if for example you you see the play go xml in the in the file uh, you will see it has a couple of uh, chunks for example for demon souls version 1.004 it has 23 chunks so you just do the follow you just grab this one and you copy it and you repeat this one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. It has 24 chunks, so it will be from 0 to 23, so you just put the ID 1, two three etc and in, in, uh, here in ch instead of chunk number zero you put chunk number one chunk number two chunk number three all the way until chunk number 23 okay so this is this is easy you can do it yourself uh, this is required because for playgo games they want work properly and they will display as trial uh, unless you uh, you put the right number of chunks so with with the case of this game in particular uh, which is alex kid in the wonder world um, you don't need to do this because there, there is no xml but uh, you need to do the following you need to go to the SCECs and to the param.json and you can see here it has a application DRM type and it is upgradable so what does this mean? it means it starts as, as, um, as trial and you must unlock it to, to, be, uh, to be a paid game so what you do instead is here you go to upgradable and you change to standard okay so you need to do this to to be a fully paid game all right so props to uh, to alexander who helped me find uh, this uh, this sort of thing both both for uh, for the upgradable to standard as for the the chunks uh, information oh yes and one thing that you can't forget um, the the chunk info must have the right chunk count so for example here if here if it has 24 chunks you must put here chunk counts 24 um, to be uh, correspondent to the number of chunks okay so imagine like you put here uh, one more chunk so we have like this you just go chunk number one id one and chunk count you put 
two. Okay, so it's as easy as that. If there's more, you put the the, the count more. So you just let me just delete this. We don't need it. Okay, so one chunk count, one scenario count. Uh, scenarios are something like uh, single player and multiplayer. You can also change that, but it's not it's not required unless it's for games like I don't know um, Call of Duty and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, usually there there's only two scenarios or one or or one scenario. Once the first scenario is single player, the second scenario is multiplayer. But yeah. Okay, so uh, we see that we have everything required here. So now we go here to the files in the SCECs folder. And we can see here that we have a couple of extra files that we need to delete. So these are the .dds files. We must delete these files from the list. So we go here and mark them as dot dds and we put bookmark line we mark all um and we put them here okay all right they are all marked you, you need to be careful because if there are additional uh, dds files from uh, some other place other than SEECs, you need to make sure they don't get deleted from the bookmark and you need to edit here like this okay these these little blue balls need to be selected so we just go here to search bookmark and cut bookmarked lines and you uh, press ctrl s and it's saved other things that you must delete you must also delete the keystone so this little file here so this gets deleted because a new keystone is always created and also the text info dot dot you must also delete this okay and also the SASCs about. You must also delete this. Okay. Um, so NP bind, you need it for the trophy and for the UDS. You need the pic0.png, the param.json as well, the nptitle.dat, and any PNGs that you might require, you will need them. You also need the PRX files and the eBoot. So it seems everything is here. And it should create without any complication. Also, don't forget that most dot files from the SCEC's um, directory can be deleted. So there are an, another uh, other dot files, uh, but most of them can be deleted, with the exception of the NP title dot dot. So this is the only file that you must keep. Okay, so it's created. Let's close this. We, let's recheck that the application DRM type is standard. It is. Okay. Now we close this. Uh, then we go here to the PPSA 02664GB5 directory. And we open the Linux shell. We just Alt Shift. And in a blank area where the where the, the 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 files are, we just right click and open Linux shell here, and it will open the WSL Linux shell. 
So then we just do prospero pub command dot exe. And the next command we want is image create. And we're going to specify the path of the GP5 and the output path for the package will be the same but with extension dot package and it will start creating an image we are going to need to wait a bit It's almost done. It's probably going through the part of the of the hashing files at more or less eighty percent. And it is created. So you can see here that it created the PPSA zero two six six four package. So you just put it here. And if you want, you can install it on your on your dev kit on or on your test kit. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video.